Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, right around the 18th, okay? So the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. All right, so keep that in mind. This reading may or may not be for you. What do we have right around the 18th? Oh, I forgot to cut the deck. Let's cut the deck. See what this one looks like. Two of Wands reversed and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Two of Wands reversed is indecisiveness, held back by fear, great anxiety, okay? Great, held back, held back by fear, okay? Not sure which direction to go. Wheel of Fortune is fate, it's change, okay? It's an event, it's a fated event. So we do a fated event here. Um, it's the end of a cycle. Obviously, there's some tears. Um, things are about to change. Luck, luck. Some, it's, it's like, in this card, it feels like, uh, it feels like unexpected help is arriving to me. Uh, two of Wands reversed. There's indecisiveness. There's held back. There's restlessness, stuck, unsure what, what direction to go. We have somebody that's obviously been in a cycle that has caused them some pain. I can see by the, the mascara, you know, the uh, smudged mascara or eyeliner or whatever it is on this card. Obviously, there's been some sort of setback but things are about to change for the better um, there could be a sudden departure here with the two of wands uh in reverse something could be happening all of a sudden um, i feel like uh, there's fear of the unknown um, a sudden change is what i see with that two of wands reverse and the wheel of fortune it is definitely something changing it's the end of a cycle um Somebody has been, it looks like they've been waiting for something to change. It's about to, in a positive manner. Hmm. It's almost like being at the right in the right place at the right time. All of a sudden, you know, somebody has been stuck and they're about to be taken out of that situation. Ooh, Empress reversed. So Empress reversed. Yikes, okay, this is this is somebody that is overly protective, maybe even mean-spirited, self-absorbed, doesn't take care of herself, doesn't take care of her home, doesn't take care of her children, doesn't take care of her man, doesn't take care of anything, okay? The Empress in reverse, it could also be a loss, okay, or a termination, um, may have something to do with a mother or a feminine that is uh, very self-absorbed, um, not interested in taking care of anything at this time. There could even be some tears that are being shed with the Empress in reverse. May have to be to do with the child. You know, there could be problems with the children, problems with the family. Um, we also may have a feminine here that uh, isn't worthy, and I hate to say that, but the Empress in reverse is a woman that, you know, has affairs, you know, uh, Needs constant attention, very high maintenance, Empress in reversed. Um, not healthy. The Empress in reverse isn't healthy. Three of Pentacles. Third party situation. Now we have two threes. We have a third party situation here. We got somebody here that is distraught. I feel like they are distraught. They are distraught. They're distraught. Maybe they're distraught over a third party situation. Um, we have somebody here that is trying to create something where there's no growth. There's no growth. The Empress is in reverse. There's no growth. Three of Pentacles. I feel like we definitely have a third party situation here. You got, I feel like we have somebody here that is, is trying to work. You know, they're trying to work on a partnership, but they're thinking about somebody else all the time, something like that. Yeah. 
you know, that, that the Empress is right there. Okay, the Empress is the card right here. So, interesting. Not really focused. We have somebody here that is not really focused on what they are doing. They're not really focused on what they're doing. Another three. Three of cups reverse. Three, three, three. Two of them are reverse. So three, three, three. Wishing, hoping, praying. Somebody's prayers have been heard. Interesting. But the three of cups reverse is some sort of sadness. This party is over. There's a third party situation here. Absolutely 100%. A party is ending. There's a lack of emotional growth. There's termination. There is definitely a termination here. Somebody is terminating something. I don't know what they're terminating. It could be a termination of a pregnancy. It could be a miscarriage. It could be a loss of a child. It could be loss of a partner. You know, it's a lo or a loss of a job or some sort of loss. Um, three of Cups reversed. That is. Gossip, there could be some gossip. It's parting ways, parting ways from friends or family. Enemy, there could be an enemy in the camp. There could definitely be an enemy in the camp. I feel like we have somebody here that is working against another person. They're not really interested in their current situation. They're wanting something else. They're looking at something else. They've been grieving. They've been uh, trying to decide. There's been indecision. We saw that with the two of wands reversed. They've been held back. Um, but things are about to change because of that wheel of fortune. So things are about to change. Everything happens for a reason. Somebody may have found themselves at the right place at the right time. You may have somebody here that's been grieving. You know, they've been crying over a loss because I saw that. I saw that. You know, they've been in or they've been moping or something. And I do see that. Maybe you just have an empress here in reverse that is sad or something like that. She's sad over a loss. Um... What is this Empress in reverse? That's, there's a third party situation here for sure. And the Three of Cups reverse is some sort of loss, parting ways, parting ways from a third party. I mean, this, this is definitely the party is over. You know, the party is over. I mean, we, maybe we had an Empress that didn't know her worth. She didn't know her value. Maybe that's the Empress in reverse. This woman don't know her value. She engages in a third party situation. You know, maybe she's... Uh, I don't know, gotten some information. What is this Empress in reverse? The Wheel of Fortune. Aha. Huh. So she, and I'm going to show you it again. You see the mascara or the uh, eyeliner or something like that that is smudged or it's going down, obviously, because there's been some tears. And the Empress in reverse is definitely tears over a loss, suffering, in pain. Empress in reverse is in some sort of pain. You know, there's a lack of love here. There is a lack of love, but things are about to change. If you notice at the top of those stairs in that Wheel of Fortune, there's somebody at the top of those stairs that is coming. This person is coming. It looks like they're, they're coming to the rescue or something like that. You know, that's what it looks like to me. Um, obviously, this, this Empress in Reverse has been some sort of despair. Things are about to change, and this is definitely a positive change. And 333 is your prayers have been heard. So maybe somebody's been hoping and praying. You know, it's an ascended master's number. They've been hoping and praying for something. You know, but then again, the universe will answer as they see fit, not how you see fit. So just so you remember that. So anyhow, um, so somebody's prayers have been heard. It feels like they've been, you know, at the bottom. This is at the bottom, and it's like they've been hoping and praying for Maybe a new life because the Empress gives birth to a new life. Maybe they've been hoping and praying for some tender, loving care or something like that. Mm. Three, three, three. And tens are completions. It's the end of a cycle. Obviously, there's been some suffering because the Empress in reverse is suffering. That's the truth. Hermit. Hermit. So right next to that, right underneath the Empress in reverse, right next to the Wheel of Fortune. So the Hermit is a time of introspection, going within, thinking about everything, planning. Somebody maybe it may have been planning a move, you know, restricting themselves, uh, thinking about their future, thinking about what they were going to do next. It has definitely been, I think it's been a time of restriction. It's been a time of thinking, thinking about...
what I'm worth, maybe. The Empress in reverse is like, and then that <laughs> hermit is thinking. Maybe we got somebody here that's been thinking about what I'm worth. What am I worth? Am I worth engaging in a third party situation? World, uh, world. Why did I want to say world? I, I don't know if we're still Mercury retrograde or what, but the Wheel of Fortune is the end. It's the end of a cycle. Maybe you have somebody here that has reached the end. They've reached the end. Maybe they're, they've suffered long enough, you know, and they've gotten some sort of awakening. They've gotten some sort of a light and spiritual enlightenment. Um, maybe they've just decided as much as it hurts, I gotta, I gotta release this, you know, I gotta work with someone else. Maybe it's time to work with someone else. This one just fell out right in front of me, upright, the magician. So that is a yes answer. This is taking action to bring success. Right when I said work with someone else, it fell right over, it fell right out and flipped out. So maybe something is falling out, maybe somebody's flipping out because those words just came out of my mouth. But this is taking action as above, so below. Remember I said somebody's prayers have been answered. This is a card of manifestation. We have somebody here that has a direct connection, okay, a direct connection to source. Um, this is somebody that believes in themselves, that is creating something. I do see creation here. With, it's right underneath the three of pentacles as well. It's like, like very creating, creating something new. Ones are new beginnings. We have a golden opportunity here. Somebody is creating something with their connection. They have a divine connection. It feels like they've been manifesting. They've been manifesting something. They may have been suffering. They may have been, you know, in a place where they were on the bottom. They've been going through a period of healing. They're manifest. Somebody is manifesting something. Um, and then the other card that I had turned over right when that fell out was the Queen of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed underneath the Three of Cups reversed. So we have a third party situation here that is coming to an end. It's the end of the third party with the Three of Cups, maybe with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this person is emotionally withdrawn. They are non-communicative. They may see themselves as a victim. They may cry. Uh, there could be some emotional disappointment here. There probably is an emotional loss. Um, emotionally disappointing, sad. We may have somebody here that is in a victim mentality that uses emotional blackmail as a tool. Um, there could be a separation here. There could be some sad news. Queen of Cups reversed, emotions all over the place, uh, emotionally withdrawn, may not have good intentions. Uh, five of Swords on the bottom, bottom, severing ties, this is some sort of battle. Um, there's been some sort of conflict, maybe even some hostilities, maybe even there's some crime being exposed with the Five of Swords reversed. Somebody may be deciding, you know, I want to be happy, I don't have nothing left to prove, they've been fighting with somebody, trying to prove something, maybe trying to uh, work with somebody who's not really giving them what they need, really isn't taking care of them. Uh, definitely not an empress because the empress in, is in reverse. It's somebody who doesn't really take care, doesn't take care of anything, right? Um, so anyhow, I do believe that things are about to change and they're going to change in a very positive manner because of that wheel of fortune and that in that uh, magician card. Action is about to be taken. Somebody is willing. It's like they're willing to shed the old to bring in the new. They're going to do whatever it takes to be successful. They've been thinking about it for quite some time. They've been planning it. This is somebody that has gone through some sort of... We have an awakening here twice. This is an awakening. Seeing the truth. Um, separating from a third party. Taking action. Believing. Knowing, 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 becoming aware. Somebody is becoming really aware and becoming focused, focusing on the future now where they have been in a place where they have probably been moping or something like that. This is a turning point as far as I'm concerned. Um, Queen of Cups reversed, emotions all over the place or emotionless. You may have somebody here that is emotionless. You, you know, they. They are very wishy-washy, you know, all over the place with their emotions. Maybe we got somebody here that has been ignoring their intuition as well. They, maybe they've uh, been engaging with a third-party situation because they didn't know their value. They didn't know their worth. Now they're shutting down emotionally. It's like I'm shutting down. I'm not going to give you love. I'm not going to give you. I'm not going to give you love. 
I'm not I'm not gonna give you love because of, the, of this third party situation, whatever it is. I do see emotional shutdown here, the Queen of Cups reversed. I see parting ways, I also see jealousy. I see jealousy, I see forcefulness. I feel like we have somebody here that's been been trying to force something. I'm sorry, I got a baby in my hands. Um, yeah, I know. Anyhow, um, Ace of Swords. Woo! So we do have uh, some truth that is about to be revealed. Somebody is going to be taking the power in their hands. Um, this is the sword of truth. It is the sword of power. It is taking a new approach. Somebody's going to be taking a new approach, okay? Um, they're going to be acting with integrity. Uh, this is like a new idea. Getting, getting an epiphany. This is a wake up. Again, right next to the magician. It's an awakening of some sort. A wake up call. Um, taking action to bring success. Seeing the truth. Gaining clarity, and I see the clarity with the Hierophant, I mean the uh, Hermit card as well. This is like a light bulb moment. It's like seeing the light as above, so below. This is what I asked for. Somebody may have rejected somebody um, and hurt them really, really bad. And they're thinking about it a lot. They may have been in a third party situation with an individual that doesn't love them. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. This is. I feel like this is like realizing the truth. It is. It's like seeing the truth. The Hermit, Ace of Swords. That's seeing the truth, seeing the truth. I also feel like we have somebody here that um, has been getting ready. It feels like they've been getting ready to make a bold move. I feel like they've been getting ready. They've been practicing or something like that. You know, I don't know where practicing comes from. They've been waiting for the right moment to show up or, you know, whatever. Um... We do have a new beginning here with these aces. We have a new beginning. Action. Taking action. Seeing the light. Coming out of hiding. Thinking. Somebody has been doing a lot of thinking. Thinking about their destiny. Thinking about their future. They've been not being taken care of. Definitely. With the Empress in reversed. Okay. Um, the Empress in reverse does not take care of. Her children, she doesn't take care of her family, she doesn't take care of herself. Um, anyhow, um, separation with the Three of Cups, it's parting ways. Parting ways from a person that... Well, it's, it's parting ways from somebody that... It's a third party situation. This is the end of a third party situation. It's emotional. It's extremely emotional. Somebody, you may deep, whoever is parting ways is dealing with somebody that uses their emotions as their main tool to get what they want, to manipulate. Because we either have the magician and then we have the queen of cups. The queen of cups reverse. The queen of cups reverse is emotions and the magician is manipulation. So it's emotional manipulation. We have somebody here that has been using their uh, emotions to manipulate another person. Um, but this is a reality check with that Queen of or uh, Ace of Swords, seeing the truth, okay? Somebody is seeing the truth and they're going to be taking a new approach. It's a new idea, okay? It's getting this idea, getting this epiphany. Um, so we do have a new beginning here. We do have a new beginning. Somebody, it's a change in direction. Uh, we have somebody here that has probably been waiting. They've been waiting for something positive to come, something positive to happen. It's about to happen. It is definitely about to happen. Um, positive change. Okay, so I think that somebody is going to be, and somebody may be receiving some communication. They may be receiving some communication from somebody with the magician and the ace of swords. They may be, or they may be, yeah, I think it's a communication with somebody that uh, maybe this, they don't expect it. You know, it's unexpected communication. Uh, somebody's about to take action. This is somebody that is very masculine, that is very strong, that has become aware. They, bec they have become aware of what they want, so they're going to be moving forward. This is, this is basically moving forward in a new direction. So that is exactly what we have here. Away from, and it could be an unrequited love situation with the Queen of Cups reversed. Um, parting ways. 
parting ways. This isn't working out. It's not working out. There's force here. We have a very forceful feminine here that is trying to force something. And I feel like she is about to lose. She's, she's, it's like she's going to, it's going to be terminated, whatever it is. She's, her rights are being terminated or something like that. Her, her overprotectiveness, her wanting to force something is, is, is going to cause a departure. And I saw and with the two of wands, that could be a sudden departure. So definitely a sudden change. Um, if I stop petting, she'll get up. Um, we have somebody here that is determined. They are determined. It's like they've gotten through, gotten some sort of a wake-up call. And maybe it's because they were abandoned by another person that doesn't want to be in a third party. So there's going to be a change of events. There's going to be a faded event that causes, uh, it's going to be a surprise. I do believe it's going to be a surprise. Something positive. It's positive. It is definitely positive. Somebody's been hiding as well. They've been hiding something. You know, maybe they've been hiding behind the scenes, waiting for the perfect moment. I think I said that already. We have a very skilled individual that is about to take their skills someplace else because where they're at, they're not being respected. Good luck. 